Hello, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to make your dialogues responsive easily. But before that, I need to show you the hard way, right? Let's add a class to our dialog and call it my dialog and use it to define width. So it's just regular prime view dialog. Okay. So it just I've given the value 50 of the viewport, 50% of the viewport. So it's always 50. And as you can see that as the screen size gets smaller, it's apparent that it's not the best way to utilize my my screen, my space. Okay. So let's add a media query. So right below 960 pixels, it becomes a bit bigger. Okay. Okay. Now it is 50. Now as it gets smaller, it becomes 55%. This works, but I mean it just requires too much work, right? So let's see, let me just remove this. This is junk now. I will just use the style tag and give 50. Okay, so it's now 50, right? But it's not really, it's not, doesn't really react to my changes. It's not really responsive. So, to make it work, I will just use the name breakpoints uh, property. Breakpoints. It should be an object literal where the keys are your max widths, the media queries, and the values are your widths. Okay, this means that this is the default version, 50%, uh, just below 960 pixels it becomes 75, and if it's the screen size is smaller, then it becomes 95%. Okay, so let's just see how this works. This is 50%, if I go, if I just go to smaller screen, it comes in five. It works. And for even smaller screens, I can utilize the space as much as as best as I as I can. And the best part of this is that I don't need to write uh, any custom CSS. It's all built in. And using this small uh, approach with the with the breakpoints property, it's now available. So. This is now available in Prime View 3.3 and it will be available in the next versions of the Prime Engine, Prime React, and Prime Face as well. And I hope you find this uh, nice trick very handy and I hope that you utilize it in your applications. Thank you.